our Velo chip runs this algorithm 13,000 times faster than the best classical algorithm running on one of the world's fastest supercomputers. Our experiment is what we call verifiable, which means that its outcome can be repeated and verified on our quantum computer or any other quantum system, even nature itself, and generate the same result. And that turned a claim into evidence, because this wasn't a random result. It was something that could be tested again and again. Classical computers didn't fail because they were too slow. They failed when the system itself stopped being representable. Willow didn't cross that boundary by simulating the quantum world, but by operating inside it. Once the outcome could be verified, the question quietly shifted from whether it worked to what it could now be trusted to reveal. For decades, quantum computers lived in the realm of experiments, tools used to probe ideas without fully entering the world they described. But as they became more reliable, that relationship changed. They don't just model reality, they begin to measure it. This wasn't the moment quantum computing became faster. It was the moment it became dependable. And once a machine can be trusted at the quantum level, the boundaries of what can be explored have quietly changed.